Just the first few boxes from this incredible, incredible estate that we purchased. So what do we got here? What the heck? This is seal? Ooh, 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 ooh. This is just like what we had. Can you imagine jogging down the street with that? Bomp, bomp, bomp. Cool factor. Just went way up. Sony Walkman. Oh yeah, it looks like comics. Nice, look at that. Look at this. Mm. Whoa, what's this from Atari Corporation? How many guys know what Quark Express is? Put in the comment below if you know what Quark Express is. All right, ooh, 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 look at this. List of magic cards. Right. Oh, 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 look at this, you guys. Yu-Gi-Oh. Show me something good. Right there, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> All right, what's up, Locker Nuts? If you saw the last video, then you know uh, what, we are, what we're doing today. We're gonna be unboxing just the first few boxes from this incredible, incredible estate that we purchased. So it's been two days uh, since we picked it up, since the last video that you saw or the last footage on it. I'm in my auction room right now, as you can probably tell. You might recognize it. Uh, we do live auctions out of this room every Monday night on YouTube. I'm gonna bring those boxes in. We're gonna go through it right here because it's well, it's well lit. I've got empty tables, and a lot of those items are gonna stay right in this room because we're gonna be. That's how I think we're gonna sell a lot of this stuff is in our live auctions. It's gonna be really exciting. But um, let me bring the first few boxes in, and uh, we have been peeking. Jan and I have been peeking because we wanted to cherry pick and bring home the best stuff. So we have peeked, but we really haven't gone through this stuff. Uh, so let's do that right now. You ready to have some fun? All right, let's get the digging. All right, here's the first box, and I did peek in this one. This looks really, really interesting, and I don't even know what a couple of these things are. So what do we got here? Man, guys, this just looks so cool. Bigfoot, Nessie, Loch Ness Monster, right? Mothman, these are like all oh, mythological creatures, I think. But look at this, this is like some sort of Asian writing. Maybe that's Japanese or something. The Great Mystery Museum Collection. Oh, this is not very heavy. What the heck? This is sealed? Here's the pull tab right here. This is sealed. What? Okay, we're gonna have to look this up. Medicom Toys? Medicom Toys? What is this? It says right here 2001. Wow, okay, so this looks like a point of purchase or whatever, a display case, you know, like basically tear, tear, pop it open, this is the display, put it right on the shelf and sell it out of here like you would in a comic book store or something. It's not terribly heavy, so this is probably not trading cards. I think it might be like little toys or something. That's super cool. <laughs> That's super cool. Okay, check this out, you guys. We look it up on eBay. And these price, these are sold prices, and you see there's a set of 12 right there, 185, 160, 99. Um, these are some decent prices, but this is n not necessarily what I have, right? These are pre-owned, 80 bucks. That's a set of 12. But look at this guy right here, brand new, eight, uh, 55 dollars for one item, and we've got that guy. This guy right here, brand new, 50 bucks. All right, for Bigfoot. And you see these prices. Now, I've got them sorted in order, highest at the top. So they are going down in price. Uh, Mothman right here, pre-owned for 40 bucks for one guy. Problem is, the box is sealed. I don't even know how many are in there. I couldn't find any information on this box anywhere on the internet. I need you guys' help. If you know anything about these boxes or if you could find anything out about them, let me know, all right? I'd really love to know how many pieces are in the box. Now, if I'm not looking at sold, I'm looking at listed. Look at this is issue three, part three, $272 for a set of 16. Here's a, a collection of seven figures for $239. I'm pretty sure we have series one, the original box. Um, so it looks like there's a volume two and volume three. But look at these prices. They're super high. They're very healthy, and I like to see that. I don't know where I'm going to price mine, but, oh, man, I'm thinking we might even put it out there for 500 bucks. Look at this. Pre-owned 79 bucks on Mothman. 
I'm thinking we're going to put ours at 500 bucks for the case and see what happens. I think we have something that really does not exist anywhere out there that I could find for sale. And that is a mint brand new box of these Medicom toys. Yeah, fantastic find. Great way to start this locker. All right, next. Oh, man, this is... I just... I'm really excited about this. This kind of nerdy, cool stuff is right up my alley. Yeah, Cards of Alchemy, 2003. It's $30 new, whatever it was. Includes a book and dice. And it looks like it was open. So let's see. But that's cards right there. And those are sealed. They almost look like tarot cards. Almost. Book of Alchemy. So what does this mean exactly? Is this a game or is this... I don't know. He did open the box, obviously, but he didn't use the cards. Those are wrapped, so... New Age slash divination slash alchemy okay uh, i don't know that's definitely a little different i love using the word different because to me that that's good we like finding things that are different what i don't enjoy as much finding stuff is common right that's that's the opposite of common and, and uh common stuff's just not quite as exciting all right yep we got another very rare item here so check this out this is an amazon listing there's only two available on amazon for 140 plus dollars both of them there was none listed on ebay and none sold in the last 90 days on ebay so amazon was the only place i could find with one for sale and yep another valuable rare item uh that, we'll have to look that up okay i'll be putting on the screens too what we got uh, so this, okay, we, we have seen this, right? We showed in the last video. We found Dragon Dice. Unfortunately, these are just empty boxes. TSR. So it's just so ironic the uh, or coincidental, the timing on this. So just this Monday, today is Thursday, Monday night's auction. I sold a set of Dragon Dice, probably the only set I've ever found. I thought it was Dungeon Dragons dice because it said TSR who makes Dungeon Dragons. So when I found it, I put it aside. It worked its way into my desk and where it sat for I don't even know how many years. And uh, these are all empty, by the way. So just recently, I was cleaning out my desk because I changed to that lift desk that I found in a locker. And I'm like, ah, let me sell these. I've been sitting on those and ooh, 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 ooh. This is just like what we had. We had a teal bag. Uh, it said TSR. Just like this. How funny. So it's just ironic that, I mean, I found it so long ago, I don't even remember what locker it came out of. And I didn't realize it was its own game. And then uh, just learning, learning that within the last week, then uh, now we're finding Dragon Dice in this locker. And now the, one of the family members told me, uh, he goes, hey, do you know what Dragon Dice is? And I'm like, um, yes. And he's like, well, there's tons of them in here. And I'm like, you're kidding me. I'm like, dude, days ago, I learned about Dragon Dice, days ago. And uh, that is a crazy coincidence. So apparently this guy was a massive dragon dice collector. And yeah, this is just like what we found in the other one. A few cards, some of these instruction booklets on how to play, and a set of dice. Wow. Look at all these dice. So yeah, there's some value here. This is these these are collectible and they are valuable. Not quite as much as I think Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Because I think at this point, Dungeon Dragons was like a big deal. So the Dragon Dice were like another product they were launching and more mass produced than Dungeon Dragons probably a decade. Oops. Probably a, a decade later. So I got to figure out if that goes to one of the boxes. We can get them back with the box or sell it with the box. Okay, now this right here, no, no booklets in here, no instruction books. Look in there. There's way more stuff in there. That's a full bag of dice here. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yep. 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 All right. I pulled them out. Now I got to put them back. I just wanted to take a look at this. It's, uh, this looks cool. Maybe we should learn how to play it. I say that, but I've got that Heroes Keep game that I found in the Steve Jobs locker. I intend to learn that and play it, but I haven't, I haven't done it. Some of the bags I've been seeing are, are very brittle from age, being in the locker for years. Some of them are disintegrating. Um, which happens after like, you know, 15 to 20 years. And I think this stuff's all 20 years old. So what's this? Is this more Dragon Dice related? Yes. Kicker pack for Firewalkers. Hmm. So there's something interesting. A little pack of... 
These are, I think, Japanese. I think we've had these recently, too. Those came out of the coin collector locker. These little cards. This looks very similar to that. It's a little sealed bag of them. Some more dragon dice. All right, here's some bags of dragon dice. This one's tore a little bit tore. This one's not. That's sealed. 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 Oh, man. This is pretty crazy. I've never found anything like this, and then now we're finding just tons of it. Look at this. More. All these dragon dice booklets. Wow. Good first box. That's the first box we've been through, and that is an amazing box. Okay. Second box. I don't think we're going to go through the entire locker in this room, but this is just the first few boxes. We will be selling this stuff, like I mentioned, in our live auction, and these things will be sold before you see this. So, um, Unfortunately, I, these videos are going to be out of order a bit. I'm not ready to start airing these just yet because we're just tapped into that second train locker, and I don't want to jump right over to this. This is an old book right here. Norman Lindsay, The Magic Pudding. 1967. Okay, so it's kind of old, but not super duper old. Famous Planes and Famous Flights right here. Also looks like another old book. This kind of stuff, either we'll put in a big lot for our auction, or we'll just bring it to the vintage market and sell it that way. I don't see a date on this one, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, but oh yeah, this is, I see why I brought this one home. So I see a lot of cameras in here. Look at this. That's cool, huh? A lot of cameras. Some of these are collectible, some of them not so much. I don't know the difference, so we just lot them up and sell them in. Big lots, big lots. Vivitar, I think it's that camera, Easy 35. Some old 35 millimeter. Some of this stuff is collectible. Advantix C470 Kodak. Little cord, that'll go to the market. It's another power cord, this is for a cigarette lighter though. That's neat. CU2, easy to use camera. <laughs> Most well, these 35 millimeters are pretty easy to use. Capital camera. Oh, that's brand new right there. Brand new, old stock. Okay? I don't know about that brand, but it's that's still a good thing to list. Oh, these little bent pencils right here. <laughs> oh boy, those erasers are fossilized. You know this is old. Okay, what's this? Ambico. Ambico. I see a Walkman in that box too. I'm working my way around that because. That to me looks kind of interesting. Ooh, that's a beautiful one. Canon, sure shot, 105 zoom. And it's heavier too. You can tell it's a little bit higher quality where those are a little bit lighter. Camera battery, it's empty though. And we got the book in there. That's really good. All right, another, feels like a pretty decent camera. Fujifilm Smart Shot Supreme. Yeah. Okay, some vintage binoculars. Looks like they're cracked right here. These do not feel quality. Let's pull it out and take a look, but sports. <laughs> the, the made in China, uh, that's never a good sign, but this is, yeah, this is cheap. This is not a quality piece. Vivitar, IC101, focus free. This is pretty good. Right, it looks like it might be a new one box. Yeah, look at that. Another new old stock piece right here. I hope that has some value. Fold up lightweight stereo headphones. Radio, uh, realistic, that's a Radio Shack brand, right? Nova 36, we'll see. Ooh, look at that. National Semiconductor Vintage Calculator. This is nice. So we'll probably have to start making two lots here. One for cameras, one for vintage electronics. Oh, and the case right here says Novus. What's this? It's in a bourbon box. Ah, look at this. Lifelong AM FM receiver. It's a little vintage headphones. Look at the, look at the antenna. Can you imagine jogging down the street with that? Bonk, bonk, bonk. But you can pick up the radio station. AM FM headphone radio. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's totally cool. But this, way more cool. Way more cool. Cool factor. Just went way up. Sony Walkman. Is this it? WMSXF10. I don't know. It says here Walkman Sports AVLS. Yeah, that's the number right there. It matches that. Uh, condition looks beautiful. Like, never used beautiful. This is really nice. It is a plastic one. Uh, and that makes a difference. 
The metal ones go for definitely much, much more. Oh my goodness, this thing is pristine. It's never been used. Little gaskets come loose around there. Probably some adhesive deteriorated over time. That'd be my guess. I think this must be a waterproof or something. Because why would they have that gasket in there? Uh, look at that. There's not a speck of dust in there. This is brand stinking new. And it's got the headphones. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. I love these old Walkman. The, the metal ones are insane. We had that one metal one we found in the train locker. Put it on an eBay auction. Sold it for a thousand, over $1,000. I forget what the final price was. That was crazy, crazy, crazy. There's an old phone cord. Hilarious. Again, there's a charger for something. Remington. Must be an old shaver, probably. There's an Olympus manual here. Trip AF motor. Oh, there's the box for the Olympus, maybe? I don't know, but there's no Olympus, so... Hmm. Alright, and well, that's it for that. Okay, next up is this box, which we showed, I think, at the locker. Unless there's another box that looks just like it, but I'm pretty sure it was this one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is a brand new sealed Dragon Dice. Mage Storm. I did look this up last night. It looks like they sell for about, well, I'll put it on the screen, right? But it sells for 60 bucks including free shipping. So I don't do free shipping on my listings, guys. I, I don't believe in it. I know it helps sales. I just don't do it. I never have, and I'm doing just just fine on eBay, so I don't plan to change that policy. But to me, that'd be something I'd list for $50 plus shipping, all right? Because shipping is just varies too much if you're on the East Coast or West Coast. Um, and if, it, if you're on the East Coast and the shipping's too much, uh, that's fine. Buy from someone else. We'll sell to someone on the West Coast. Uh, it's actually probably better for the environment anyways, not to truck so much merchandise back and forth across the country. If you can find one cheaper locally, then do that. It's better. Um, but look at this. It's not only uh, 12 items in here. It's it's the original box. So the, there's actually the display box inside of it. I think this is a very similar box right here. I've been using it for trash now, but uh, it looks like that. See how it's got that blue frame in there? A little divider. I think this was also for those other dragon dice. Yeah, look at that. TSR. I wonder if it's worth more still as a case, you know, brand new. If there's some collectible significance to the box itself. I don't know, but pretty dope. So there's 12. That's 50 bucks a pop. That's 600 bucks. <laughs> Next box. Okay. This looks like all random comics. I did throw these on top. These were in a different box, I think, which was an empty box. So I wanted to chuck the box and so I pulled these out, but um, a lot of comics, and this is a $2.99, $2.99 comic, so it's not super old, obviously. Oh, 2012 on this copy right there, 2012, so okay, it's 10 years old, it's, it's not super new either. This one's got some creasing here, but this is a loose one, so these are not in a box, not particularly well stored, put in with other stuff. So the condition on these probably steam wars, what, what is that? I don't know. Oh, free comic book day, the tick. Guardians of the Galaxy, free comic book day. And Green Lantern Corpse, okay. So a few comics there. I didn't see anything too, like, amazing, impressive, crazy. What do we got here? Version 2.2, Clive Barker's Hellraiser. Ooh, that looks sick. <laughs> if you guys see something good in these, I'm not going to go through all the comics, right? Uh, we have what I estimated to be, like, nine, I think there's 18 or 19 long boxes in a short box, plus just boxes like this where there's just random comics in there. But, uh, and obviously we didn't go through all the lockers yet, but they said the majority of the comics were in that one locker. So I think we found most of them, but I'm figuring we have between eight and 10,000 comics. Cadillacs and dinosaurs. Yeah. Ooh, Akira, no, uh, volume one, number seven. Hmm, it's a graphic novel. This is gonna be fun stuff for our auctions. Seduction of the Innocent, Akira. Volume 1, number 27. That's art in this stuff. It's beautiful. Star Wars. Weird fantasy. These are remakes, right? $2. This would be like probably a 25 cent book back in the day. Gru. $2.25 cent book. Sunrunners. Judge Dread. Night Glider. Post Brothers. Satan 6. There's a trading card in there. Look at that. Hmm. Huh. This one was made by Tops, and there's a trading card in there. It's kind of funny. The Twilight Zone. So these are these are definitely more modern comics. Hopefully we'll find some older stuff too. The family member did tell me that uh, there's some older Batman in there, so I hope we find that. Clive Barker's Nightbreed. 
number one. There's two of them, but I do see some creasing here. White Devil, like I said, don't worry. We're not going to go through every single comic, but let's get a feel for what kind of comics are in here. Robotech, that's $1.50. Lots of creases on that one, though. Fish Police, I remember this book. $1.50, wow, that's crazy, because this would be like when I was collecting comics, this would have been one of the new releases. Like, that was back when I was, you know, much younger. 1986, yeah, so I would have been 16 years old. <laughs> Lum, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Book one of three, and that's a graphic novel, and that's beautiful condition. World of Wood, Turok, Survivors. Okay, so we get the we get the picture, right? I, I'll probably go through these. I don't really know that much about comics, but I know I know a few comics. Ooh, Grendel. I used to love that book. I mean, if I see stuff that I think might have value, I'll put it aside and look it up. And if it's something really good, we'll definitely have to give it some special attention. It'd be great if we found some stuff that we could actually grade. But most of this stuff, guys, really, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count these out in lots of 40. And I'm going to start making stacks in here. And we're going to auction them off in blocks of 40. It's just going to be a miscellaneous lot. I'll go through it in the auction and we'll sell it just like that. Okay, next box. Oh, this one says, oh yeah, that's right. This one said Quicksilver. And it looks like comics. Oh yeah, it looks like comics. It be comics. Nice, look at that. Good, 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 good. These ones are bagged. Not all of them, but some of them are bagged, so that's a little different. We like bagged. We definitely like bagged. This is bagged and boarded, and I know we have some bagged and boarded ones in the cases. Tales of the Jedi. Got some Star Wars stuff here. Good. Ooh, lots of them. Okay. We got some uh, graphic novels, too. Turn of the Jedi. Boy, these look, these look pretty... Nice too, like good condition. Mint. That's nice. That's in the bag. Another graphic novel. Oh man, these are graphic novels. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, these are in order. There's a, a mini series of six. We got all six. And they look like they're in really nice condition, but these are definitely more modern. $2.95. Star Wars Job of the Hut. Star Wars droids. I don't know if any of these have value or not, but that's pretty cool. So that was all Star Wars in a bag. All that ba bag rather was Star Wars. Project AKO. See, he's got three books in there. Krusty Comics. Hmm. Bartman. Got some Simpsons stuff now. All right, so we got all these. Wow. Look at this one right here. It's unfortunately a little bent. These are just not stored as well as it could be, but I mean, he's got plenty of comic book boxes. Those are gonna be perfect, but these ones probably were more recently added since he ran out of box space, but beautiful graphic novel. No hard creases in it, so probably if we put some weight on it, flatten it out over time. Uh, but yeah, graphic novel, Aliens vs. Predator, there's a couple books there. I don't, I don't know if these titles are worth anything at all. I find them really fun. <laughs> fun stuff. All right. That's a heavy one. All right. What we got? Oh, this is funny. Wired Magazine. I don't remember who this gal is, but I received this magazine back in 1994. I was a subscriber back then. That's kind of funny. All right. Anyways, maybe it's not funny. Some computer magazines from way back in the day. I just realized something, guys. So that business card that we found earlier... That's actually the owner, the owner of this. And now I remember that they did say that he actually designed games. Found a bunch of stuff where he actually designed games and puzzles. This is, uh, I just did a quick Google search. I found very little, but I did find a little bit saying that he was hired uh, to work on like video games, basically. Whoa, what's this from Atari Corporation? A facsimile. Jaguar game platform is a 64-bit system. What do we have here, guys? Wait a second. Tiny Toons Adventures proposed game specs. What? This is like a proposal for a game concept. What the heck? That's really interesting. This is all printouts of what is on discs. That's not interesting. Files and such. Really interesting. Just trying to make heads or tails of most of it. So right here's a contract between Atari and Digital Delirium. Wow, this is actually pretty dang cool. 
Aliens vs. Predators Deep Space Encounter, dated 1994. This guy worked on some video game stuff. I don't know, is this something that has any value at all? It's definitely interesting, but I don't know if it has value. Okay, I don't know what to do with that just yet, so I'll put it aside. I was hoping this had comic books in here. <laughs> Not yet. Epic Illustrated. That's really neat, isn't it? Epic Illustrated. I don't know if these have some value. It's a little risque, isn't it? Joe Kubert's Tour. 2000 AD Judge Dredd, or featuring Judge Dredd. Huh. Subliminal Tattoos. Is Disney sticking it to America? Interesting. Some weird stuff right here. Definitely weird stuff. Different, a little bit different. Duelist Magazine, the official Deck Master Magazine. I think this is like Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Femme Fatale. So, more comic book magazines. Duelist Supplement. I don't know. So, 1994. I don't know if there's value in these, but we'll, we'll try to sell them. Brochure for a Philips video game system, huh? Entertainment system, it says. Magnavox. What? Look at all these games. It's Mario Brothers. I thought Mario was only in Nintendo, so what is this exactly? Magnavox CDI 450. This has got to be worth something to a video game collector, I would think, this brochure. Especially if we find the actual Magnavox, so we'll put that aside. Look at that, there's a vintage Mac warehouse catalog. I have not seen one of those in a while. That is really, really funny. Quark Express, look at this, Quark Express. How many guys know what Quark Express is? Put in the comment below if you know what Quark Express is. Uh, that's something, that I don't know if they're even around anymore. But they are definitely not what they were back when this came out, which I'm assuming is probably early 90s. That was a um, very important program, which I, I don't meet very many people who knew what it was, unless they were a graphic designer back in the day. Star Wars Prime Directive of Star Trek and Star Wars Merchandise. How oh, interesting. <laughs> Look at this. Star Wars Toys and Collectibles. Buy, sell, trade. Chuck. He's got his phone number there. I buy collections loose or in the box. It's probably pre-eBay. <laughs> 1995. How funny. Oh, look at this, SciQuest. Oh my goodness, I haven't seen one of these in forever. This is a, a backup device. Look at that, 88 megabytes. SciQuest. This is before the Zip disk. When the Zip came out, that was 100 megabyte. The disks are much smaller. That was way superior to SciQuest, but we used SciQuest back in the day. Oh, okay, here's a couple of comic books. Here, Twisted Tales. Zot. Zot. Starlog. Another star log. Those are a brand new sealed and wrapper still. It's National Geographic. <laughs> Games Magazine. It's another star log. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at this. Atari. Power pad. Please be in there. Something's in there. Oh, yes. Oh, wait a second. That looks brand new right here. Atari. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's new. That is brand new. Power pad. Okay, definitely got to look that up. And looks like we do have some comics here. Comics, comics, comics. Some comics there. What's in these bags? Cray computer. Wow, look at that. That's a Cray. Huh, wow. There's some more video game design stuff. There's like a, a uh, looks like a template for the box. Golf line puzzle box. Yeah, maybe it's not video games, maybe it's just a game. Hmm. Well, here's some outlines for a puzzle with the correspondence with the makers of the puzzles. Oh, there's some crazy stuff in here. I just don't know if this is going to be stuff that we can sell. Ooh, ooh, look at this, you guys. List of magic cards. Do you guys recognize any of these? Any of you magic guys? Take a look at this. I don't know if this is old stuff or like really old stuff or what. It's pretty cool though. 
what the heck? And then he typed up like, is this, I don't know what this is. This card name, Elvish Scout. I think this is uh, Goblin Grenade. I think this is Magic Cards. It's typed up what the uh, card description was. Somebody had a lot of time on their hands. This is a list of all the cards in the Fallen Empires expansion set, included as a rarity casting cost description what the cards do. This stuff, of course, is all online now, but in the early 90s, yeah. There's no internet back then. <laughs> I mean, there was, but not like today. Very interesting magic stuff. Very, very interesting. Okay, this one of those boxes that I gotta get stuff out because this the flaps are not secured on here. So this looks like to be all comic books. This is great. Okay. Towers of Boys Mari. Volume 1, Volume 2. Looks like a couple graphic novels, but they've not been stored flat. But at least the spine doesn't look kinked. Just a little bent. Cobalt 60. That's some interesting, really interesting graphic novels here. Star-Lord, wow. This is, looks older, doesn't it? Star-Lord, that's Guardians of the Galaxy, isn't it? Uh, $1.50, number 10. Hmm. Gru, nice. Elf Quest Hidden Years, Elf Quest New Blood, Elf Quest Shards. This is cool. That's good stuff. Hammer of God, Sword of Justice. There's two of those. Book one and two. Oh, there's Gru number one right here. Look at that. Is there value in that? I don't know. Gru number one. Looks like you got the first five issues. There's number six. More Gru. Simpsons. Bartman. More Gru. Man, he liked Gru. Wildstar. More Star Wars, Tales of the Jedi. More Elf Quest. Man, there's just so much stuff here. I don't know if I should do random lots of comics in our auctions or try to lot it up and say there's a whole bunch of Elf Quest right here. Hmm. I don't know. What I do know is I love having that dilemma. <laughs> I love having to ask myself, what should I do? <laughs> Son of Mutant World. That is weird. Rip in Time. I think I've had that one before or come across it before. And it looks like it's a set. So I think that's probably number one. We have all a bunch of books in here, all different. James Bond, book one. James Bond, book two. Those are graphic novels. All right, there's some Judge Dredd. Watch Judge Dredd. Judge Dredd. More Elf Quest. Uh, this whole stack is Elf Quest. It's pretty cool. Okay, more Elf Quest. Jeez, this guy really liked the Elf Quest. Next box here. Yes, okay, so this one says Star Wars Ships, 3D Puzzles, Glass Gems, Dice Time Game, and Miscellaneous. All right, what well, we see right off the bat here, there's the Star Wars die cast right here, Titanium Series die cast. That's good. We have found these before, but not too many. Look at that. There's two of them. So, but the, they're totally different scale, right? Because see how small the stormtrooper is there and how big he is there? That's uh, still pretty neat, though. ATRT, and there's an ATAP. There's another one right here. Hyena Bomber, it says. Hyena Bomber. Bomber. And we got some puzzles. Ivan's Hinge. Dice Time. Oh, that's what he meant by Dice Time. Okay. It's been opened. Got dice in there. Some little cups. Or no, it's a bell. <laughs> Some other sort of game right here, but what is it? I don't know. It's five bucks, though. Duncan Yo. -Yo. Oh, it's made by Duncan Yo Yo. It's number 430000. Is that Tetra Tops? Oh, Tetra Tops. Okay. It's hard to read that font. There's a little 3D puzzle. Yep. There it is. So this guy's toying the games and puzzles. So I think we're going to have a lot of games and puzzles coming. Tarot cards, the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. I don't think it's called, I don't think it's that type of Wheel of Fortune though. Chris Angel Mind Freak Magic Card Case. That's some different stuff, isn't it? Chris Angel Penetration Pen. Some magic tricks. Ooh. Oh, there's another one. Coin Nested Trap. Amazing Magic. So we got some magic tricks and stuff. Boy, this is, this is going to be a, a really different <laughs> locker. Chris Angel stuff's all brand new. 
Magic. Tapered cards and marked cards. Very interesting. Svengali deck. Svengali. The whole deck changes into selected cards. Oh, well, that's interesting. We got some puzzles. Oh, we got a little kitty. Kitty cats. Look at that mini puzzle. Ooh. And then this accent gems. Well, that's a weird mix of stuff. <laughs> Okay, next box, this one's a little heavy. And I see why, because it is cards. Cards, right, oh, 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 look at this, you guys. Yu-Gi-Oh, starter deck, Joey. Look at, there's a seal. That side looks like the seal's lifting off, but that side, it definitely is not. I think the box is just a little crushed, so that's a Yu-Gi-Oh, starter deck. 1996, this this could potentially be something pretty significant. I don't know. There's a Harry Potter trading card game, and that is sealed. Okay. This is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Sealed. Harry Potter. Not sealed. However, let me see about this, because some of those stuff. Yeah, yep. Just like that other one. Box is open, but cards are sealed. Brand new. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. That's cool. Another Harry Potter sealed. Is that the same as the other one? No, it's different. Okay, that is uh, Shadow Fist, Year of the Dragon, and we have two of those. Yeah, yeah, both of them sealed. Okay, nope, three of those. Nope, four of those. So good. Scooby-Doo Monster Chase, Disney, Fairies. That's fantastic, guys. Fantastic. Okay, wait a second. Here's some more Shadow Fist. Another one. Hmm, that's not it. There's a Cars 2. What's this? It's a bunch of uh, instruction books. Probably he took the cards out and put the instruction books back. That's what I think. Oh, look at that. Dragon Storm, Haskellad Set of Five. Black Dragon Press. Look at that. It's been sealed shut. It's 13 bucks, probably 20 years ago, so... Who knows? Who knows? Whack-a-mole. Hyborian Gates. Oh, what's this? This kind of like magic, but... Okay, whatever it is he played with those, those have been opened. So have to look these up. I don't know any of this stuff. The Yu-Gi-Oh! is the only brand I know. Harry Potter, of course, but I didn't know they made the trading card game. Space Exploration. I think this is just... Oh, it is actually a game. Express Chess is what it says. Xenophile. There's cards. Okay, Xenophile on that topic. Look at this. Xenophile. This is light. I think those are all the boxes. But this this is where the cards went right here. Look at this. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 1996. Wait a second. What? Oh, I just realized something. It's XXX, the adults only trading card. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, um, hmm, bead animals, dragon storm, another box of those, this is set two. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for right there, another Yu-Gi-Oh, starter deck Pegasus, yeah, there's the Hyperborean gates right here, the car, there's more cards, right, wait, was the other one with cards, I can't remember now, but there's a whole bunch more cards right there. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Those have been opened. Okay. Okay, and there's the Dragon Storm. More cards. Those have all been opened. Okay. This is really interesting stuff here. Polypack Puzzle. Okay. Explore the realm of the cube and its geograph geometric relationships to various polyhedra. Okay, puzzle. Show me something good. And the locker said, uh-huh. Right there, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I think that could be potentially be really, really good. This is sealed. Brand new. 12 booster uh, packs. 36 packs per box. Score, 8584. Score is right. I just scored. So what is this? Uh, Babidi Saga? We're going to definitely have to look that up. That potentially could be... Really, really good. Really, really good. What else we got? Okay. There, there's a whole bunch of boxes for Buffy the Vampire Slay Off. Okay, that has a that 
Oh, yeah, that's it. Sealed. That's a sealed pack right there. Okay. Looks like it probably is supposed to have two in there. I don't know. We'll look that up, but I would say we'll probably just sell all the Buffire, uh, Buff, Buffire, the yeah, Buffy Vampire Slayer. We'll just sell all that together as one big lot, I would say. There's another sealed pack right there. This is pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool. So there's a whole Buffy there. And then this Supernova. 1995. I don't know. It looks almost like for kids or something because it's not very... Like if you look at magic cards, the artwork is beautiful. That one's a little bit better. It's, it looks like a cartoon, you know? So I, I don't know. Except for kids, maybe? Supernova. Okay. Look at this next one, you guys. This one is crazy. Look at this stuff in here. <laughs> it really is insane. Okay, first up, we got this Digimon card game but this is uh empty so that one's already been taken out i wonder if that's got it's bandai 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 or bandai so i did look through a couple of these already um just because i was so curious so curious san diego zoo couldn't find that much information on that one but here's what's interesting about this stuff he's got these nice little uh cases for them and let's see i only pulled one out i only pulled one i don't know where it is but it's, it's like a fantasy art one that was the only one I actually took out. So let's look at this. This will be the second one that I've taken out. There's number 100. 99. 98's there. 97, 96. I think these are going to be all complete sets. I think every one of these little cases in here. And there's number one. These are all complete sets. And then you got these foil cards uh, that are additional. Prototype 2. Hmm. You got something rare. They're all in order. This is crazy. This guy spent a lot of time, a lot of energy, and also a lot of money putting these sets together. And I've never, I've never come across anything like this. I mean, where it's just like such a, a diverse collector. This is the other one that I looked at. Whoa. Nope, not that one. Julie Bell, fantasy art. This looks like that Boris Vallejo type art right here. Uh, Tech Chrome bonus card in every pack. Okay, the, uh, Lee. McLeod, McLeod, McLeod. Interesting, right? This is really cool stuff. Uh, Shadow Fist. Oh, this Shadow Fist. That's like what we have over there. Yeah, that's this Shadow Fist. So this is, I think, probably going to be a complete set right here. I could not find any comps on this. I might have to do a little bit more research on that before we sell it. I'm just curious about it. Where's the one that I pulled? Huh. Oh, this one right here. Yeah, because it just looks so cool. Um. So cool. Bernie Wrightson. It's like a zombie in the swamp or something. It just looks dope. These are in order also. The Brothers Hildebrandt. Oh, that's something different. I think there might be two sets in here. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. There, all I do know is that there's tons of stuff in here. Itchy and Scratchy. Mm, Speed Racer Gold. Speed Racer Gold. Nice. Calendar pinups. <laughs> Gil Evgren's. Tiny Toon Adventures. To Reality. Luis, Luis Royal collector cards. Almost looks like Terminator. There's Conan. All Chromium Conan collector cards. Oh, wow. Look at that. Metallic on there. Nice. Royo 2, and it's the same illustrator. Star Wars Galaxy Series 2. It's a complete set. This is amazing. This is amazing. DC Comics Edition Skybox. I think there's going to be some money here. Of course, even if it's $20 each, there's going to be money here because there's so many. Space Shots Series 3. Tron. I wonder if those are... Vintage, 1981, this vintage set of Tron cards. That looks like Boris Vallejo right there. Let's see. I don't know, it just says Barbarian Holograms. Okay. The Simpsons, 1990. Wow, that might be the original series of Simpsons cards. Lady Death. I found a collection of Lady Death comics. This is a while back before I was even videoing. They were worth almost nothing. I, won't, I don't know if that's changed since then. There's another Speed Racer. Chromium Creatures. Huh. 
This looks like Tarzan. Joe Jesco's. Oh, there's some wicked stuff going on there. Look at that. That's crazy. Michael Kaluta. There's Spy vs. Spy. It looks like a 3D like holographic card. Lima Rock. Hologram number three is what it said. This might be a little more risque. Collector cards by Comic Inge Images. Olivia 3. Adult Oriented, it says. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Look at that. Love Monty Python. Man, I watched that so much when I was young. There's another Shadow Fist. Guy was really into Shadow Fist. I wonder if that's a whole nother complete set. I wonder, wonder, wonder. Okay, this is uh, Comic Images, 1994. All right, guys. I don't know if we should go through every single one here. Is this even interesting? Daryl K. Sweet Fantasy Art. Oh, wow. That looks like a Piers Anthony uh, novel cover. That's what that looks like to me. I wonder if he illustrated Piers Anthony books. Oh, uh, there's a nice looking dragon. Parkinson. George Bush. Desert Shield cards. How cool. Get ready for yak. Shaving day. <laughs> Ren and Stimpy Show. Awesome. Chris Archelios. Fantasy art. Nice. Hmm. Here's another Chris Archelios. Series 2. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Nice. Vet. Vet set. 1991. Mm-hmm. This is the kind of stuff I like right here. Ken Kelly Collection 2. Nice. This fantasy art is awesome. That's a trip. More Beyond Bizarre. This guy's a massive collector, collector, and this is pretty impressive. Sexy Robots and Pinups. I think we found that before. This really does really feel like the Plumber Collector Locker. <laughs> Look at him, Homer Simpson. We have nothing to fear but fear itself. Dot, dot, dot. And, of course, Axe Murders. <laughs> hey, that looks, this might be very old stuff right here. Ron Miller's Firebrands, Heroines of Science Fiction and Fantasy, Jedi Knights, Trading Card Games, Scum and Villainy, Parish, more fantasy art here, look at that dragon, it's pretty cool. This is Boris 91, it's Boris Phileo, Adult Oriented, and yeah. His stuff is just beautiful, though. His artwork is just it is amazing. We found a few collections before Boris Vallejo, and it's, I, I, I think it's just amazing. Coca-Cola Series 2, delicious. Another Ken Barr. I think we already had one. Ken Barr, more fantasy art. Blueprints of the Future. Collector cards by Comic Inch. Oh, my goodness. Guys, is this locker not... I mean, I keep saying locker because that's just... That's just my vocabulary now, but, and it technically was a locker, but it was an estate buyout. That's where these came from. The gentleman passed away, and the family sold the um, contents of these lockers. They're Starlog, and is this not amazing? There's the X-Files. Hmm. Neat. Okay, guys. I might have been saving the best for last. I mean, I think I was. I was planning on doing it, so, I mean, hopefully it is. Mixed comics, it says. Just looks like mixed comics, right? It doesn't really look like anything except for this. Look at this, because I already peeked in this box. It's the only short box that we've had in the entire locker. Look at this. Mm. <laughs> we found this Star Wars number one a few times before. I love it. I love it. We actually have, I have a blanket uh, that Faith made for me with a pattern based on this art right here. I just love it. Uh, cause I had this as a kid. I mean, this, this book got read when I was a kid. So check that. So I don't know how to tell if this is like first edition or not. Mm, this is copyright 19, 1977. Oh, this is a reprint of a previously published issue. Dang it. It says right there. Okay. So that is a reprint. Ooh, it's still valuable. Even though it's a reprint. The condition is not great on it though. This is a reprint. Dang it. Look at that. Love that art. Gosh. So cool. This is a reprint. Dang it. This is a reprint. I was hoping these would be original. They're still very old. This one does not say reprint. It's number six. Actually, that's in decent condition. And then this one does not say reprint. Number eight. Okay. So anyways, I saw that in the front and I was like, okay, I'm excited now. <laughs> you got me. Hook, line, and sinker. Okay, what's this? Fallen Empires, though, on the world of Magic the Gathering... Hmm, lots of clues as to being a magic 
uh, collector, magic card collector. There's more magic. Is this comic books or is this some... Yeah, it is comic books. Dang. Uh, and Gianna said that she did see a magic card in the locker somewhere. Look at this shadow mage. And it includes a free Magic the Gathering creature token in there. Oh, there are creature tokens there. Look at that. For magic. I know we found some magic tricks, right? You know, like we already found this kind of stuff. And I, I just hope you know uh, what I mean by magic. Not that kind of magic. Not that kind of cards. <laughs> okay, we're talking about like Pokemon. Equivalent to Pokemon magic. Uh, that's what we're looking for. Those are big money. They can be very, very expensive. All right, here we go, X-Men. This is the first X-Men I've seen. I love X-Men. Superman in versus the aliens. Okay, cool. Superman aliens. I'm missing number four. Batman aliens two, and that's a graphic novel. One of three, two of three, three of three. Complete set of the graphic novels. Now these are bagged and boarded. Oh, 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 please. Ah, it says right there, reprint. What? How oh, interesting. This one does not say reprint. So that one says clearly right there, reprint. Dang, it got really excited again because it's in a bag and board. Mm, mm, mm. Number two, reprint. Dang it. <laughs> Aliens versus Predator, number one of four. Two of four. Aliens versus Pre Predator, Xenogenesis. Lots of this Alien versus Predator stuff. That's cool. Empire Strikes Back, 1980. Cool. All right, some more Star Wars. I love it. 11 and 12. This is probably original. Oh, man, I remember that one, too. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. These are reprints. It says reprint, reprint. Actually, 5 did, too, and 6 did, too. More Magic the Gathering. Is this good stuff, guys? I don't, I don't really know. That's got a card in it. Fireball. That's not a rare one. It's pretty cool. Alien Legion. All right. That's nice. I like that. I uh, went to a comic co convention when I was very young, com a comic con, and the artist for that was there, and I bought a piece of original art from one of the Alien Legion, I think from the first one. I just, so I have, anyways, I have a little bit of like personal attachment to that particular brand. All right, well, I'll go through this. I'll let you know if I see anything interesting in there. Let me go through those two. We'll see what's in there. I'll tell you if I see anything of particular interest. All right, guys. I didn't really find anything too crazy. I did find this World War Hulk. I just think that cover is beautiful. It's a little a little bent like this, but again, it's not creased on the spine. I don't think I have. Actually, I take it back. There's, there's a spot right there, but not terrible. But yeah, oh, man, it's beautiful. I put that aside just because I want to check it out. It is uh, number three of five, though. I hope to find the full set. Um, a lot of comics, uh, obviously, lots of comics, but we also have a fair amount of, of uh, graphic novels here. Josh Whedon's Fray, beautiful book, Space Pinchy jo uh, by Tony Takazaki. Look at this, Star Blazers, nice. Another one, Star Blazers. This, that's some neat stuff. I think there might be some value there. Sometimes those graphic novels are surprising but otherwise i'm just trying to lot this stuff up where it makes sense put them in, in like i said stacks of 40 and we'll put them in our live auction all right guys so what a great start right first day of unboxing fantastic stuff <sighs> but this right here this takes the cake sealed box of dragon ball vintage dragon ball z cards oh man so if you saw the comps on the screen this starts asking price out there right now starting at a thousand and going up into the thousands for this all right and we have a nice example of the box here the plastic is not brittle it doesn't look dented the sh corners are kind of sharp maybe there's like a little no i don't think nope that's not a dent i'm looking at it from this side that's just part of the box shape right there this thing is nice. One of the Yu-Gi-Oh boxes is a little dented. That's going to devalue that one. That was more expensive of the two. But this one is purdy. Purdy. P-U-R-D-Y. Purdy. Um, yeah. Great stuff. But quite a few great items, right? We found this. We found the two Yu-Gi-Ohs. At the beginning, we found those Japanese toys. Um, the mystery museum toys. I think that's probably $500. Ugh. Man, we're doing great. 
by far exceeds our expectations and it's just the first day first load first unboxing we have so much more to go through oh man so we're gonna have a lot of fun i hope you guys like this stuff uh let me know in the comments below what you like you know if you like the comics if you like the cards if you like just the the history that we're starting to uncover with the game design background let me know what you guys like i really appreciate it when you tell me and a lot of this stuff this will probably go on ebay into an auction but a lot of this stuff we're selling in our live auction so make sure you you uh join us monday nights on youtube at 5 p.m pacific if you want to be part of those auctions uh we're letting it go for great prices um some of the stuff i already sold before closing this video before making those comps and i realized oops some of that stuff went for uh way less than it was worth because we did not know for example those duncan toys the uh forget what they were those little duncan toys those were a hundred bucks each. I think we had two or three of them that we put in a lot with a bunch of other toys. I don't think it went for very much at all. Uh, the buyer probably didn't know. We didn't know. Those went too cheap. So you never know. Uh, that's part of the fun of the auctions, right? So anyways, um, please join us. We're going to have a lot of fun, but more fun to come in the next video. More unboxing. All right. And that'll be out soon. But until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Lock of Nuts right there. Lock of Nuts. Oh, it's a Disneyland bag. That's cool. <laughs> Just noticed that. Oh, nice. Oh, this is really good. Disneyland. Disney books. Imagineering. Unfortunately, it's got a little wrinkled up on this side, but it is shrink wrap brand new. Oh, yeah. It's 50 bucks brand new. <laughs>